Usually when you send a message in Signal, you'll see two ticks, which means your message has either been delivered or delivered and read by the recipient. However, occasionally you might only see the one tick and this happens when your message is sent but has yet to be delivered to the recipient. In most cases, the reason for this is that your recipient's phone is not connected to the internet. It may well be that they turned their phone off or that the phone is on flight mode. So here I am about to send a message to Wilson, but before I send it, we'll turn on flight mode on Wilson's phone. Now, if I hit send, you can see the message has only one tick and Wilson doesn't receive anything because his phone is not connected to the internet. As soon as Wilson disables flight mode, his phone is back online, he receives my message and you can see that the single tick becomes two normal ticks. So that is what the one tick means in Signal. If you'd like to know how to tell if someone is blocking you on Signal and what it means to the messages you try and send, then this is what you need to know. Okay, before we go any further, so that I'm not accused of wasting anyone's time, the answer to the title of this video is that there is no way of knowing 100% if someone is blocking you on Signal. You won't receive a notification and there is no way of checking. Signal is pretty clear on this in their support pages, which states they will not tell you you've been blocked by another user and the person who blocked you will not receive any contact from you and any messages you send whilst you're being blocked are not resent if the person later decides to unblock you. However, having said all of that, if you have a hunch you might be being blocked, then you can pretty much tell from the read receipt next to your message. Let me show you how it works. Here I am chatting with Wilson. To block Wilson, I simply need to click on Wilson's name at the top of the window to open up our chat settings. And then I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page and click on block user. Now that Wilson is blocked, if Wilson sends me a message, you can see I don't receive anything. I'm simply none the wiser. However, on Wilson's phone, you can see from the read receipts, those two little ticks beside the message, that they are only outlined. This means that the message has been delivered, but not read. So because Wilson was blocked when he sent that message to me, it will forever show as delivered, but never read. Whilst this isn't 100% conclusive, given that most people eventually get around to reading their messages, the likely answer is that Wilson is being blocked. If I decide to later unblock Wilson, as Signal states, I don't receive any of the messages Wilson sent whilst he was blocked and Wilson will never be notified that he has been blocked and later unblocked. An alternative way to unblock people and see a list of everyone you have blocked is to click on the icon in the top left corner of the main screen to open up settings. Click on Privacy followed by Blocked and choose Add Blocked User. Here you can pick a name from your contacts or search for the person you wish to block. A list of blocked contacts will be displayed on this screen. As the notification states, blocked contacts can neither message nor phone you. If Wilson tried to call me whilst being blocked, the call simply continues to ring and again I'm none the wiser. In the same way you can block an individual, you can also choose to block a group. Open up your group chat window and click on the chat name at the top of the page. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and choose block group. So there you have it. It's not guaranteed, but you can probably guess if someone is blocking you. So that is sending messages and blocking users in Signal. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.